guys, this is PTY Trader. Today I'm going to go through the steps of how to make a Komodo paper wallet. Uh, we currently added it to our GitHub, so we're going to go ahead and download the zip file. And you download it. I've already downloaded it, of course, and I've extracted it to my desktop. And when you extract it, it'll look something like this. So what you want to do is open the indexer, the HTML file. With um, I use Google Chrome or Firefox but you can use Internet Explorer as well. So once you open it, it'll go through this, uh, through these steps in order to create a new wallet from, um, from Entropy. So you, it asks you to move your mouse around and you can actually use this to create uh, just like a one-time use wallet or a quick wallet and I'll show you what it, what it does. If any of you have used uh, Bitcoin paper wallets, it's pretty much the same thing. So, I actually just generated a wallet. And if we take that address and this private key, we actually have a key pair now. So, you can use uh, this method, the, the initial method to create just single wallets. But we want to create a paper wallet. And we want to encrypt it with BIP38. So, if it's printed it actually does not give the private key away. So let's just write our passphrase down. Passphrase two. And for example, we already have a private key here, but you can generate a new one or you can actually um, enter one that you have already. So since we already generated a wallet, let's go ahead and use this private key here. And we apply. It'll take a couple of moments depending on the capability of your computer. And okay, so it's ready to print now. And what I want you guys to see is, so the private key, it looks a little different now. See, the private key used to be this one. Now it's BIP38 encrypted. That means you can actually leave it in a text file or print it as it is here and no one's going to be able to get your private key unless they have your passphrase and the encrypted key. Okay, so we have the public address, which is the same as the one we have here. Now, you have a public address to receive coins and an encrypted address, or an encrypted private key, I'm sorry, to claim your coins or to spend your coins. So, what do you do now? Well, what I want to show you guys is how to decrypt the, the private key, and then afterwards I'm going to show you guys how to import it into a client so you can actually see the coins. Um, okay, so... In the same window, if you go to Wallet Details, you have a tool here in which we can copy-paste our encrypted private key, and we want to view the details. So now it's asking me, well, it needs a passphrase. So we take our test passphrase and decrypt it. It could take a couple of seconds or maybe even a minute depending on your computer. Okay, so once it decrypts the wallet, now you see all of this information and you might ask yourself, okay, well, what's going on? It's very easy. 
if you look at your public address, it starts with RUI. On the right side, we see public address compressed, RUI. This is the address, and this is the private key. So this is the key that we had before, but I just wanted to show you guys in case you um, have a paper wallet and the BIP38 uh, private key is there, you can use the tool to unencrypt it. So now with this unencrypted key, we can import it into a client and be able to access the coins that are in this address. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to send some Komodo to our address and I'll show you guys how to import it into a client. I'll pause the video and we'll start off once the transaction goes through. Hi guys, so I've just sent a little bit of Komodo to our new address and we can actually check it against the Block Explorer. So let's copy our new address and paste it on the Block Explorer. And as you can see there's 0.01 KMD in it already. Here's the hash from the transaction I just sent. And as you can see for yourselves, the address is valid, it receives coins. Now the question is, how do you spend them? So for now, you can do two things. You can import your key into Agama, but me, myself, I prefer to use a non-GUI client when importing private keys. So we're going to use an Ubuntu client that I've already prepared. And what I want to do, it's already set up. So for example, all I need to do is to import my private key. So we're going to copy my private key, we're going to go to our client, and actually let's check our balance just so you can see the difference once it's done. There's 12.22 KMD in this wallet already, and what I want to do is import the private key, paste, okay. Now this process is going to take a while because the client needs to rescan all of the blocks with your private key in order to show you the balance that's available. So I'm going to pause the video and this will be done. It, it'll probably take a few hours for it to be done. Okay guys, so it seems that our Ubuntu client imported our key. And as you can see now we have 12.221 KMD. And we can actually look at the address groupings. And we can look for our address, which is right here. And that's how you import a private key. Now, I wanted to show you guys something else. Um, I imported the same key into Agama for those who might decide to use Agama uh, to import your key. So I'm going to use uh, a wallet that, that I use for testing. It should have some KMD on it. It actually had 8.899 KMD last time I checked before I imported the key. And what we would do is we would go to the settings, import keys, and in the import key, Give me one moment. Let me get back to my Windows client. We are going to import our private key. Since I already imported it, it's not giving me the success, but once you import it, it will tell you a uh, key imported successfully. And this is the transaction, the 0 0.01 transaction that we imported. And we can just verify to make sure that it matches. And what we want to do is get our tax ID. We can go back to the Explorer to make sure that it's the, the right transaction. And the tax ID that I got was 01A4CC. And that's it, 0184CC. So as you can see, you can import your private key into both a non-GUI and Agama. 
Um, I think that's the simplest way to make a wallet for people that don't want to mess around with the technical side and they just want to have a Komodo address where they can keep their Komodo, they can get their interest, and they can get their snapshots uh, without having to worry about anything. And th this is the wallet that, that I recommend for them. However, if you are going to spend your KMD or you have KMD that you need um, to have in a wallet to spend, then a paper wallet might not be the greatest solution because as you can see, the importing uh, process can take up to an hour. This time it did not take that uh, long because my computer is pretty fast, but usually it can take about two hours uh, on a normal computer to import a key into a sync the blockchain. So that's pretty much it guys. I really hope you uh, you liked the video and if you have any questions, I'm available on Slack. Remember to visit supernet.org for any questions and thank you guys. Have a great day.